money or giving me back my card because the system is hung there. So staging area is very much required. Nightly, you will pull away the data from your source operational system, put it at some place, and then you can process it. Take 100 hours to process it, or I mean, 100 hours is a mere exaggeration. Take 24 hours because only by tomorrow 12 o'clock you will going you are going to get some other data. Meanwhile, you have it data locally for you. Process it whatever you want it to do, and then push it into the target. Make sense? So staging. No, no, no. Data services. There is no staging environment. Staging environment is a database environment. Data services, you are using it as a tool to pull the data out. Let me give you a real easy example so that your mind will catch it. The same example, I am trying to move my uh, items from my five single apartments, single bedroom apartments into a, into a huge single family home. How are you going to do it? Narrate me how you move your own items from your single bedroom apartment into a, uh, into a single family home. You tell me how you do it. So what is the truck doing here? Is the truck going to stage everything? When you say truck, yeah, so the truck is a placeholder. But who will move it? It's the engine, right? It is not the entire truck. It is the engine who will pull it out. So the engine is the ETL tool, okay? The place there is the database. It is a storage. ETL tool by itself will not have any storage. So instead of comparing with a small truck, compare it with a, a rail uh, uh, train. Engine is the ETL tool, whereas all the the the, uh, the trucks behind it or all the boxes attached to it or the database boxes. That is where the data is getting stored. And why we need a staging environment? Even don't talk about the truck there. The st actual staging environment, the good example would be your lot outside your home. You cannot clean the data inside your home. Neither you can not clean the data after you reach the target. You will put it outside your home before, after getting out of your, your uh, source, which is your uh, single bedroom uh, home. Before moving it into a single family home, you have the staging environment. You will put it outside your home, massage it, clean it, repaint it, fix it, and then finally move it into your target. So don't compare it, uh, the truck with the, uh, the staging area. Better compare your outside lot, your parking lot, or your, your, uh, your open place where you are going to fix these items as your staging area. That makes more sense. Truck is the ETL tool here, right? So truck will not be holding everything at it at a, at a time. Truck is a very small space. Compare it with your parking lot, which is a huge space. Before moving it into your single family home, you stage the entire data that is coming out of truck. You put 100 trucks of data there and then clean it. Finally, uh, put it into your uh, target. That, that makes sense. That it gives a good, a good idea about it. So uh, truck is always ETL tool with a very limited uh, resources in it guys. It has a very small space. That is the right example when I say do a full push down. So the full, full push down is use your, you, your source parking lot or the target parking lot. Don't use the truck. Truck cannot, you, after putting an item into the truck, you cannot sit in the truck and clean it, right? So load it, the cleaned one or or clean it before you load. There are two ways. So you have no option. You cannot do it at your source because it is an apartment. The common space, you cannot ask the remaining people uh, to take their uh, car in a different way because I have my equipment here, I am cleaning it. That is the operational system. You cannot, there, there are many customers. It is not only you. So where you stage it, your single family home has a plenty of space before it. It has a very nice parking space. You can accommodate all your items there. You can have, you can hire three carpenters, four electricians, fix it, paint it, and then move that item into your target. Make sense?
so etl tool is not the uh, not the place where you are going to stay database is the place so to again mention one more thing your staging environment and your target environment is always going to be tightly coupled they are going to sit in one box one database box because the sources can be definitely different you have a mysql source you have a sql server as a source oracle as a source sap as a source but your target is going to be only one target the data warehouse target is oracle 11g let us say so your staging area will also be in the same 11g environment but it is outside your actual home it is the parking lot make sense perfect man yeah those questions are are uh, are acceptable don't feel to ask any question at this moment because the training part the integral part of the training is to give you the proper base and I'm, I'm going to teach you from first class to 10th class you will get only a 10th class certificate but it is not the eligibility for a job you will have to pass your engineering which is your practice you have to practice more only then you can uh, you can build your own job so the base is very important i will lay you a very good foundation that you understand the concepts better than anything else okay So that is about the lookup uh, instead of an outer join. We can use the lookup definitely as I told if it is very small amount of data lookup is considered best way. If it is a large volumes of data better use uh, uh, outer join. So that is a best practice which uh, I follow while designing a job. So follow the naming uh, naming oh so follow the name conditions both okay so that is a uh, mis misspelled guys. It is follow the naming convention actually. Naming conventions with both workflow, but naming. Okay. It is naming conventions, not conditions. Both workflow and data flow now. Now it makes it work. So follow the naming conventions at both workflow and data flow level. Change, uh, check out the workflows and data flows from central repository before you make any changes. This is the instruction when you are in a multi-user environment. You are going to do the checkout and check-in. The uh, the the example for checkout and check-in is. While you are cooking something on the stove, you are letting know the remaining people so that they will plan accordingly. You are going to, uh, the better example will be, uh, what I can uh, tell you, you are trying to show that you are working and you are letting everyone else know uh, that do not touch that. So that, uh, so that they will wait until it is fully cooked. So let us say if there is a dependency on your cooking. You are trying to cook rice, whereas the other the other person is trying to make it as a tamarind rice or a flavored rice. So he has to wait until you cook the rice. So all you are telling is you are letting him know by checking out in the central repository that you are still cooking rice. So wait for my rice. That is an indicator for you. So today we may not be able to do the check-in, check-outs and uh, how we handle the central repository. But the best practice is always do a checkout and check in on which job you are working, which data flow you are working, so that rest of the team knows what you are doing, so that they won't uh, try to step on your phone. So annotate and uh, record all the enhancements. When I say annotation, I showed you the job, right? In which I try to put some annotations here. Okay, this is an empty job. In the template job, which I am going to show you, you will surely see the annotations. So annotations help you. Yesterday, if I if you see, I have put out some uh, some callouts kind of thing, wherein they 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 help you to understand what the data flow is doing, who touched the data flow, is there a is there any enhancement does at so and so point of time? It is a very good index for you. So annotate the records and uh, all the enhancements which you are putting there. So exclude data stores when you export a job to an ATL file. So we are going to see that the job can be exported in two ways. You can use the central repository to exchange your work or the other way is 
you are exporting it to a flat file a atl file is nothing other than a flat file you can export your job to the flat file and import it onto the other side we will see both the ways but always what we are telling is i have shown you an object called as data store uh, let me because it is uh, tough to understand the terminology this tab which i am telling you you will have to exclude the logical representation of data store but you will understand when you are building the job why you need to uh, why you need to um, exclude it because in the life cycle process you have development qa and production environment so the logical representation of a data store will be pointing to only one environment when you move the code to a different environment, you don't want that code to point to the development environment. You want it to point it to the QA environment. So you always have to avoid attaching the data store to a job when you export it to a different environment. That is what it means. And each data flow shall be able, able to generate an optimized SQL that contains a single select statement. Then a data flow attains a full push down to the database. To talk about this particular statement, actually you have to uh, start working on data services only then you can understand the rest of the class so we are not going to talk about this optimized sql push downs insert into merge into no i'm not going to talk because it doesn't make any sense for me at this time without showing you a job theoretically explaining this is how the statement should be so i'm not going to talk about any of this until i show you the template these are the best practices that are to be followed by a developer. But uh, I thank you folks for all your patience listening to me. Any questions at this moment you can ask. After couple of classes, maybe maybe sometime in the next class or, or after 4 or 5 hours of class, we will see these best practice methodologies. All this page is important only after you start designing a job. Now if I tell you, I'm telling you wrong, wrong thing. I'm instructing you to uh, how to skid the car when without uh, letting you drive the car. So first learn the driving, then we'll make the best practice saying in case of an accident, what to do, whether to call AAA, when in case the cop comes there, how to handle him. We'll look at it later. But first let us learn the driving. Any questions at this point, guys? <laughs>